video we want to look at the neoplastic polyps of the large bowel so these are uh, neoplastic polyps okay then there is carcinoma also of the colorectal uh, tumor you can have carcinoma like adenocarcinoma colon etc so basically here what we are looking at we are looking at the polyps okay polyps so basically these polyps uh, are neoplastic that is they are benign they can become malignant okay so in this you have three types you have tubular adenoma villus adenoma and tubular villus adenoma so tubular adenoma is also called as adenomatous polyp villus adenoma is villus papilloma and tubular villus adenoma is mixture of tubular and villus okay so uh, you already have seen this hamartomatous polyp remember poet jeggers uh, syndrome so basically hamartomatous polyp is a bin, uh, it's not at all a neoplasm so it is a non neoplastic condition however these tubular adenoma villus adenoma these are all neoplastic polyps they can become malignant so now we are looking at the neoplastic polyps of large bowel remember we are looking at the neoplastic uh, polyps of large bowel here you have two things tubular adenoma and villus adenoma so if they ask you adenomatous polyp you have to write tubular adenoma if they ask villus polyp you'll write villus adenoma so basically uh, this is how we draw tubular adenoma if they ask they'll be like tree like right a single round spherical it will be but in villus it will be finger like look at this this is tubular this is villus villus will have finger like projections okay so let us look at what this tubular is tubular adenoma is actually very common and it will uh, both of these tubular and villus both of these will affect the distal colon and uh, rectum okay so the distal colon and rectum so what do you mean by distal colon and rectum so somewhere here distal colon and rectum this part it will affect okay <clears throat> when it comes to tubular uh, adenoma basically you can see that uh, in both of these actually there can be rectal bleeding okay in both of these there will be rectal bleeding in tubular adenoma look at the gross the gross will be uh, polyps which vary in size okay there will be large spherical irregular surface will be there you can see this right R uh, large spherical irregular uh, uh, surface vary in size these actually can be either single or multiple sessile pedunculated here they have actually shown a pedunculated that means there's a stalk here you can see there's a stalk here right so here they have drawn a pedunculated one <clears throat> but they need not have a stalk so they can be sessile okay so they can be varying in size etc microscopically what will you see microscopically in uh, tubular adenoma or adenomatous polyp you will see that uh, the appearance will be like of a benign tumor okay so it will be overlying this uh, polyp will be overlying a muscularis mucosa you can see mu muscularis mucosa is here this polyp is overlying the muscularis mucosa it is composed of branching tubules okay there is less mucus okay here there is actually less mucus in tubular remember there will be less mucus let's that write that here tubular there will be less mucus secretion okay and uh, how will the cells be large nuclei increased mitotic activity will be the typical neoplasm kind of things okay so this can be a carcinoma in situ and it can become a carcinoma uh, it can become a carcinoma later so it can become a malignancy later only 5% of these will become malignant so it is actually very common this is a very common condition there will be less mucus and 5% can become malignant okay did you understand this much so some common points for everything we'll write here some common points that we saw it will affect distal colon and rectum there will be rectal bleeding right all these are standard points for both of these types of neoplastic polyps now coming to villus adenoma so look at this villus adenoma type so basically villus you can see finger like finger like villi again muscularis mucosa is there down here this is sessile because there's no peduncle here right mostly it will be sessile yes if you remember in hamartomatous polyp remember in this uh, uh, what you have seen in the <clears throat> non neoplastic polyp that is hamartomatous polyp here the muscularis mucosa itself would have become uh, the uh, projection right but here the muscularis mucosa is there uh, um, below right so you can see here you can see the muscularis mucosa is cleanly drawn here below muscularis mucosa is not going into these polyps but in the hamartomatous polyp the muscularis uh, was going into the polyp remember so let us look at the features of this villus adenoma villus adenoma is also called as villus papilloma 
it is actually less common in sixth decade of life it can occur again distal colon and rectum then uh, here there will be oval how will these polyps look they will look oval exophytic masses usually they'll be sessile they won't have peduncle they'll be varying in size there'll be a lot of hemorrhage and ulceration will be there okay here uh, microscopically you will see finger like villi directly fr uh, from the area of muscularis mucosae they are seeing each of the papillae have fibrovascular stroma so you have to draw a blood vessel here fibrovascular stroma you have to draw pay attention here there's a blood vessel here okay then uh, excess mucus secretion can be there so here they didn't draw blood vessel right so let's just mark all this weight. So they are saying here that usually can be hemorrhage and ulcer. Okay. In villus, they are saying there can be hemorrhage and ulceration can be there. And there will be less, uh, sorry, excess mucus will be there. Lot of mucus. Let's put some mucus here. some mucus here and say lot of mucus mucus will be there lot of mucus will be there then what else did you see blood vessel you have to mark the blood vessel here because they have told it will be a fibrovascular vascular right here you have to show there is a <coughs> fibrovascular Fibrovascular, you have to show, what is that word exactly? So, fibrovascular stromal core it has, okay. Each of the papillae has fibrovascular stromal core, right? Important to note that. So, this uh, is about villus adenoma or villus uh, polyp okay remember here 30% uh, of these can become malignant okay 30% 30% can become malignant so villus adenoma is less common but it is more uh, percentage of becoming malignant okay so here there will be again rectal bleeding in this case there will be mucus also because um, this you can see that is extra mucus secretion now what is this third pattern? This third pattern is a mixture of both tubular and uh, villi, right? So this is tubulo villus adenoma, it is papillary adenoma or willow glandular adenoma. You have to know the names at least, papillary adenoma, papillary adenoma or willow glandular adenoma, okay? So remember papillary adenoma is actually mixed one, okay? So this will have features of both. Okay, that's all you have to remember. So we are done with the non. Uh, we are done with the neoplastic polyps of uh, large bubble, the large intestine. Okay, that's all for now. Bye bye.